Governor Mark Dayton proclaimed today Minnesota Peace Corps Volunteer Recognition Day. ABC 6 News reporter Talia Milovitz tells us why the first Peace Corps marker in the United States was dedicated in Plainview. Ken Fleece grew up on a farm just outside of Plainview. I was always interested in foreign countries and stuff. I had a set of encyclopedias under my bed that I got out of the old rural school. After a year of college, Ken decided to turn this interest into a lifestyle by joining the Peace Corps in its first year of existence. He took off to Brazil where he could use his southern Minnesota farming skills to help a foreign country. I got into agriculture and I had garden projects at one time with 300 families. I had a greenhouse of my own. Ken was one of four Plainview. View volunteers to serve in the Peace Corps that first year. It was this contribution that led to the first Peace Corps marker placed in the United States to be dedicated in Plainview. The community has come out as well to support them and show our appreciation for the Peace Corps volunteers that have served and to recognize that Plainview is apparently the epicenter of the Peace Corps community. About 30 past Peace Corps volunteers from around the state came to the dedication. Betty Schilling served in Venezuela in 1967. She came from Woodbury to show her support for the dedication. I think it's really important that people know that there have long been people who want to be world citizens and want to have a vision for a world that can work together and honor differences. Ken says Plainview produced many people with these values because of the tight-knit community. I think it was a very moralistic, disciplined uh, community. In Plainview, Talia Milovitz, ABC 6 News.